All right, we just got some pretty exciting news about a major company that announced it's going to be moving a humongous facility into the Tampa Bay area. And if you're considering buying, relocating, or investing in the area, maybe you've been sitting on the sidelines trying to figure out whether you're gonna make the move or not, you're gonna to wanna to hear this announcement. Welcome to the channel, and if this is your first time, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I am a licensed realtor and a team leader here in the Tampa Bay area. We help people just like you move, buy, and invest to the Tampa Bay area. We're getting crazy amounts of phone calls, y'all. Listen, it's it's up to about three or four different phone calls a day, whether that's you know phone calls, text message, uh, emails, Heck, I'm even getting DMs on Instagram right now from people just like you who are considering making that move or investing in the Tampa Bay area. However you got to get hold of us, I even put a uh, link to my calendar down below so you can actually schedule a time to jump on Zoom, talk about the area. I kind of walk you through the area through my eyes, pull up Google Maps. It's super helpful. But what I want you to know is however you got to get hold of us when it comes to making that move, just know that my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. All right, so I want to break right into this news here because Monday morning, my alert went off on the on the Google notifications, and sure enough, I open it up, and there it is. You know, we've got a company, a major announcement from a humongous company um, that drives a lot of innovation, and more importantly, drives a lot of jobs to the areas as well. And in, as luck would have it, you know, it has been announced that Tesla is in contract to purchase a hundred thousand square foot facility in St. Petersburg on the north side in the Lealman district. And this is one of those areas that, um, you know, is, uh, there's a lot of commercial businesses there. There's some industrial areas there as well. Um, and the surrounding areas technically would be considered not the most desirable areas in St. Petersburg. They're not bad, but they're not the most desirable. Um, you know, however, within a mile, actually two and a half miles from, from the location there, um, you've got historic Kentwood, which is absolutely one of the most coveted neighborhoods in St. Petersburg. You've got North Kenwood just north of there. Um, and y'all, that's just a little over a mile and a half away from this location. And why this is important is because you know, the phone calls and the, and the emails I'm getting right now and the questions that I'm getting every day from people just like you are, Juan, what is going to happen in this real estate market, right? They're throwing out, you know, uh, recession talk, um, you know, inflation this week just hit, you know, the numbers came out eight and a half percent, which is the highest in 40 years, you know, is real estate going to crash? And y'all, you're asking some great questions. And um, I just did a video not not a couple weeks ago talking about this. And next week, I'm going to really deep dive on Tampa's numbers. We're going to talk about job growth. We're going to talk about projections. All I'm going to give you my professional opinion on what I believe is going to happen. I'm not an economist, but y'all, I study this every day. So I just want you to kind of get some insights there. But Back to the topic at hand with Tesla. Listen, we all know what happened with uh, in Austin, Texas, when Tesla decided they were gonna relocate and make the move there. Now they're not bringing the world headquarters there, but they are bringing a 100,000 square foot facility, which is gonna feature sales, service, and storage in the area. Um, and listen, the area that they've chosen um, is great commercially, but tends to be, a, you know, would be referred to as a blighted area in real estate. But here's the thing that you know, when, when Tesla comes or Amazon comes, who also announced that they were breaking ground a few miles north of here on a 40,000 square foot facility and bought two more facilities at 90,000 square feet. Um, you know, when those things happen, what typically tends to come is jobs, you get a lift in the economy and the real estate really starts to boom. And at the time of this recording, the, the median sales price in St. Petersburg is 335,000. That's for all types of properties. So that's condos, 
townhomes, and single family homes. Um, now that's gonna include one bedroom condo, so that's gonna throw that number off. A single family home, as of today at the time of this recording, the median sales price is $403,000. And we've seen that increase 26.9% year over year. So 27% essentially. And the projected um, real estate growth is still 18% in the area, even with all this talk of inflation and recession and all the bad things that come along with it. But as you guys know, Tampa has been found out. The Tampa Bay area it was was a steal in terms of coastal values. But that that letter and um, that bulletin has, has set sail. The world knows and they are coming, y'all. We are taking phone calls from all over the country and Canada. Canada's made a lot of shifts in policy recently in terms of uh, you know how they're gonna operate um, in a post-pandemic uh, world. Also, in terms of their real estate, their real estate is crazy, y'all. If, you if you've not paid any attention to what's going on in Canada, you know, I've got friends in Windsor that are you know being asked to pay a million dollars for an 1,100 square foot, 60-year-old home. That's in Windsor, we're not even talking about Toronto where it's just outrageous. So there's this pressure um, on the real estate market that has just been completely blowing up. So I just wanna kinda give you some insights because I'm getting these calls and people are asking me where the crystal ball is going, but if, if forget about my opinion, where is the money flowing? And you see companies like Amazon, you see companies like Tesla, they're making investments in Tampa. Pfizer just announced that they're coming to the Tampa Bay area. Uh, Suzuki Motors announced that they're coming to the area. These large companies are bringing jobs and, and economic resources with them, which is gonna continue to put pressure on the amount of homes we have. And y'all, I'm gonna get into that in one second here. Um, but it's also gonna continue to drive uh, you know, real estate values up and um, bring more money to the, to the overall economy. So these are good things in terms of projected outlook. So if you're on the fence and, and you think you're gonna outweigh this market, meaning you're hoping for a crash, honestly, every single month right now, housing prices are increasing by an average of $7,000 in our median price point. For every month you wait, you're, you're costing yourself up to $7,000 or more, depending on what your price point is, just based upon the averages, y'all. So take a look at that and put that in consideration. And I'm not trying to in incite fear or any of those things, but if we can take a step back and remove the emotion from what we're looking at here, we have a very large company that anywhere they've gone, they have made an impact on the economy in a positive light. They have also increased real estate values as well. So when you look at areas like Lealman, um and um, you know that nor the northern suburbs of St. Petersburg, Pinellas Park area, areas that aren't necessarily known for, for having the, the, the greatest economics or the best schools, we don't have houses and where they're putting this property inside of Pinellas County, we don't build new homes here. There's nowhere to build. In order to put up a new home, you have to tear an existing one down. And that leads me right into where I was going with this in terms of neighborhoods. Now, if we travel two and a half miles south of the location that, they're, that they've chosen here, which is a Canes Furniture Outlet, big building, um, and we're gonna put a link to the uh, the articles that I'm referring to here so you guys can can see it. I know we're, we're putting it in, in the video, but I wanna make sure you have access to it as well. Um, but if we just travel two and a half miles south, there's an uh, there's an, uh, an area and it's, uh, it's basically the west side of downtown. It's called the Central District, okay? And it goes, um, the Central District is a great spot. My wife and I will typically travel 30 minutes to go get tacos from Casitas Taqueria, which is on the south side of, of, of historic Kenwood. It's one of our favorite taco shops in all of all of Florida, y'all. We just absolutely love the place. Um, strongly encourage you to go visit it. But that neighborhood right now has one home for sale in it. One. And it's a one bedroom home uh, listed at $225,000. But everything else that is pending meaning it's under contract is between the low 400 starting at like 480 and a new home at one million dollars it was 990 995 thousand dollars and that was a scrape and build as i was referring to if you want to build a new home you got to tear down an old one so that home is under contract to be sold now 
if you we start heading north back towards um, this site here you get into north kenwood there are a few homes there are three for sale in there and their average are right around 450,000. so i just want to kind of give you guys some insights as to what's happening here in tampa bay i know this is a little bit abnormal from from my normal content but i'm getting so many calls like this about people asking where things are going so what i wanted to do is show you some of the really good news and the things to look forward to in the tampa bay area and why i believe that real estate is going to continue to be strong my personal and professional opinion is that interest rates and real estate home values will continue to climb in the Tampa Bay area for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't see relief just because there aren't enough homes being built in the area, especially the areas where people want to live. We are building, but we're talking 50 minutes to an hour north. We're talking 50 minutes to an hour south or east of Tampa Bay specifically. And that is not a great commute if you're going to work downtown or if you want to be in the Tampa Bay area specifically. Um, there are some great amenities in some of those areas. So, you know, we've done videos on them before. Wesley Chapel, which is basically becoming a city unto itself lots of resources there amenities run wild there you've got you know the outlets and costco and, and shops and sports centers and the lagoons there they're great you got plant city which you know a year ago was nothing but farmland and dust and there is literally homes being built everywhere they're building a medical facility there you got places like parish florida which is to the southeast and Waiumama, which we just did a video on another area that's got a man-made lagoon that is just absolutely incredible but on a man I'm telling you, during traffic, it's a good hour from there to Tampa, even though it's only like 20 miles. So I wanted to jump in and share this with you guys. Hey, if you've got comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Also, if you're getting any value from these videos, please hit the subscribe button and click that little bell. It tells me that you are that you enjoy the type of content that we're making, and we want to continue to give you the content that you both want and need. So I hope this helps you get a little bit better understanding. Like I said, check out the description below. You'll find the links to the articles. Um, but hey, don't wait. If you're considering making that move to the Tampa Bay area, just remember, you can call, text, email. You can even DM me on Instagram. Um, my I link to my calendars down below but what i want to say is this don't miss your opportunity don't be someone who said i wish i would have rather than uh, um you know i'm really glad i made the move in three to five years so i hate to see people miss out on this beautiful gym our city's incredible i would strongly encourage you to check it out if it's not on your radar welcome and hey till next time you go out and live that tampa life